welcome to the Mile High Scale Modeler channel. This is the MPC 3-in-1 70.5 Corvette in 1 20th scale, kit number 3070. Let's have a look at the box art. Well, what's left of this box as it has seen the decades roll by since 1970. We will then move to the opening of the box showing the contents and then take a deep dive into each individual sprue. This kit review, along with all others I produced, are to be informative to the viewer, like you, to help you decide if the current prices you are seeing for this kit are worth it. Let's go through the box quickly and then deep dive into the contents. If you would like to be notified of further content I produce, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and hit the notification bell. Being a subscriber is one of the great things YouTube allows viewers like you to do for free and it helps content creators like me produce more quality content for all of you. Let's start our deep dive with the instruction manual. On the front page of the instruction manual, we start with the engine subassemblies. You have the option to build this kit with an air cleaner or velocity stacks. Moving to the next page, we have the interior and the wheel and tires. The rear suspension and front suspension complete this page of the instruction manual. The instructions continue on the chassis portion of the build and then moving to the blown or injected engine insulation. The stock muffler assembly completes this section of the manual. Moving onto the back side, we have the body and funnel assembly. This completes the instruction manual, however there is also a small detailing manual that came with the kit with some detail parts. We can see MPC was even a rivet counter by stating the exact fire sequence for the Chevy engine. The first chrome tree, a wheel fell off so I am showing it here that it is not missing and the tree comes with two full sets of wheels. This tree also has chrome pedals front timing cover, and the chrome air cleaner to name a few. With that, we see a wire wheel type and another type of wheel. This next chrome tree has the velocity stacks at the bottom, however, a few have fallen off and I will show those here in a bit. On this chrome tree, we see the blower and supercharger front bumper two different valve covers to choose from, and brakes that I wish had more detail than how they come. For products that I use to suit my building needs along with my airbrush setup, information and links can be found in the description below this video. The glass tree has a clear hood, the windshield, back window, and side glass. This kit coming with a clear hood was not something I was expecting, however, a simple coat of primer will make this a non-see-through hood if you want. Here's the clear red glass for the taillights and some parts that fell off the parts tree and a few detailing parts including the spring.
The two parched trees here have a single wider slick tire on each including floor mats. These are of a rubber type material, pretty cool coming from 1970. Here are the four stock tires that come with the kit as well. A bit dirty for this kit review, but a plain tire with no riding on the sidewalls is what comes with it. The seats come in a two-piece mold. Looks like there may need to be a good amount of work to get these to look good for a build. For this parched tree, the interior, headers, exhaust, and lower A-arms can be found. There are some concave injector pin marks that can be removed if you wish. There is nice texture in the chassis tub and in the back. Here we have another parts tree that has some items with some good detail. If you are enjoying this video, please hit that like button and comment below if you built this kit, any issues you had along with your build. The chassis has some basic details but nothing that stand out as over the top for this kit. The manifold has nice detail to it on the sprue including other parts we see here on the parts tree. If you would like to be notified of further content I produce, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and hit the notification bell. Being a subscriber is one of the great things YouTube allows viewers like you to do for free and it helps content creators like me produce more quality content for all of you. The dash I feel is what makes this kit. The dash has great detail, the gauges are not molded in. The knobs and buttons are well detailed on this dash as well. Here is the headers used for the blower configuration of the build. Here are the engine halves, which have a nicely detailed transmission. Here are some additional parts that fell off the parts trees. Here is another hood you can choose if you want to go with the air cleaner route instead of the blower hood. Did I say the kit came with louvers? Well it does, and they have some flash, but you typically don't see louvers for the rear windows on many kits, especially 120th scale. The front headlight covers and firewalls are on this part street. If you wish to have the headlight appear, then you can find the headlamps on this part street along with other parts. Here is the lower portion of the front body. Here are some more additional parts. The body has some mold lines. It will definitely need some work, however it is nicely detailed and accurate to the one-to-one -one of this car. The side vents, the Corvette emblem, and the gas cap are very well detailed and appreciated. Unfortunately, as you may have noticed, I don't have the decals for this kit. 
I found another kit being sold on eBay that has a picture of the decals, but it was after my thought of making this video and that auction was too far back to find it on eBay for sold listings. Overall, I'm not sure if I would recommend this kit or not. I like the box art and that it is in 120th scale, however MPC has been known to have a lot of fitment issues and based on the parts I can see some fitment issues just by looking over the parts themselves.